Good morning. Happy Friday as usual. Hope everyone's having a great week so far. Today I'm going to talk about talk about something that got me into coin collecting and um, maybe it might help you if you're a little bit undecided in terms of the type of collecting you want to pursue. I think we have a pretty nice idea here to help you get started. It's a really cool set that you could build. And I purchased another one of these. It's a United States type Dansko 7070. Let's go ahead and get a better shot of the album. By far one of the most popular albums. And for whatever reason, Dansko stopped selling them for a while due to a proposed update that they claimed they were going to do. Of course, uh, not many people know this, but Dansko, they, they make these coin albums. They're beautiful presentations, but it's not their big money maker. Uh, they're known for presentation supplies, binders, that sort of thing for corporate clients and so have you. But let's go ahead and take a look at this thing. I'm going to unwrap this. They um, they re-release these for sale, so that's only that's the that's the primary reason why I felt like I'm compelled to do this video, is so that each and every single one of you can see what is enclosed in this album and how it could help you kind of pinpoint certain series that that may want to spark a total collecting. Uh, road for you. Sorry, did I get that right? <laughs> Just trying to find the words on this Friday morning. It's a little bit early yet. But this is what it looks like. Of course, we have the little catalog card here. Let's see what we got. A letter. Archival quality slipcase. These are archival safe. They don't have any of the materials with acid in any of them. But as you can see, you have the individual portholes that outline every series of every denomination in U.S. coinage. And I think this is a really fantastic way of not only collecting and getting to know every single U.S. coin series that's ever been produced, but... As, as you begin to put this bad boy together, and I have my sample coin here. It's actually this 1923 Buffalo Nickel. I'm going to go ahead and put that in the album for you so you can see what it looks like from a presentation standpoint. Let's go ahead and change the page here. So we have... Half cents, large cents, and then you have all of the one cent, small cent coins. There's even a two cent piece in here, three piece silver, three cent piece silver, three cent piece nickel variety in there. See how small that three cent silver is. Turn the page, and of course we have half dimes. All of the nickels are represented all the way up to... Yeah, Jefferson, all the way up to Jefferson, 35% silver, so that's war times. Uh, we have the dimes here, all the way across to Roosevelt. How comprehensive is this album? It has a 20 cent piece hole in there as well, that's a short series. More quarters, quarters all the way up to Washington. Half dollars from Capped Bust all the way down to Kennedy. Just carry over on the next page here. The album, by the way, it's, it's like $22. You can't go wrong. Okay, so uh, there is four portholes for commemorative half dollars, whether it's the classic type or modern any 50 cent piece will fit in there i've put together about five of these type albums ranging anywhere from low ball set to 
something nice and high end. Uh, I did a I did once a complete AU that was very challenging and cost a lot of money. I, again, again this this album you could do any type in there from inexpensive to wild and crazy. You could do a full album of toners. You could do hold coins, problem coins. There's really no wrong way of using this album. And finally, we have a more modern page that has all the bicentennials from quarter to big size dollar. Susan B. Anthony, Sacagawea, 50 cent commemorative state quarters. Commemorative, 1980. Okay, that's the yeah, modern commemoratives, which also can fit in the other holes. And one ASE, American Silver Eagle. Let's go back to the nickels. And, and the way this works, and it's really easy, each side of the album has these sleeves. So if I were to pull on uh, the sleeve right here, using one of the holes, this clear sleeve will just pop right out. Okay. So that's the one I don't need. The nickel I have is a 1923, so we're going to use this hole right here. All right, so you can see that slide coming out of there. And generally, if these are nicer coins, you'll probably want to use cotton gloves or even nitrile gloves if you can't find the cotton stuff. The coins simply pop right into the hole and they fit snug and you would get them down deep enough so that way you could replace the clear sleeve. There you go. See the reflection there? But you would go and fill this up. Again, you could collect by series, which is traditionally what this album is geared towards, or you could collect by grade. So it's going to help you accomplish a couple things, which is pretty neat about the album. It's a great starter album for everyone to use if you're undecided about what direction in coin collecting you want to go towards. You're going to be able to know a little bit more history about each coin because as you collect them, you know, you're probably going to be flipping through the red book. Do I want to go for key dates, low mintage stuff? And plus you're going to be able to read, you know, you're going to know more about the, the designers of each respective design and series. It's, it's really a lot of fun, and these are available. You can find them online now. Amazon has them. I bought this one from a company called DesertDansco.com. It's been re-released, and uh, there's no need to pay $100 for a used album anymore on eBay. It's ridiculous. It was ridiculous for a while. I was actually able to flip like 10 of these things and make huge profits. Now that it's been re-released, you can buy it, enjoy the album. It is the most popular coin album out there. Thank you for watching. Appreciate your time and your patience. Sometimes my videos can get a little long-winded, but that's okay. Hopefully the information in there is equally and twice doubly more important for you. You guys enjoy your weekend, Memorial Day. Huh? Enjoy that too. Lots of things going on. Enjoy your summers. This is the kickoff. Talk to you soon.